<clears throat> Hello, Oracle Dragon Star here with your Venus in Libra reading. And how to check if your Venus is in Libra. You can do that with your birth chart online. They have those for free. Um, so... And that can be in Vedic or Tropic, so Western astrology or, you know, the older uh, astrology, not the one that was changed. Um, but both works. What we have here first is how you are feeling in your connection towards this person is the Hermit card. And so that's being away, going within to contemplate, think maybe yeah about this person, about this relationship. What are their feelings and thoughts about you right now? We have the Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups and the nine of swords so really up in their head about you know the four of cups is usually like not happy not uh, like unfulfilled you know this emptiness void like boredom so Feeling, you know, and this making it to where they can't sleep at night, having hang, high anxieties, feel like, you know, they're stepping on eggshells and trapped in their mind about this relationship. And this guy is checking and like, oh my god, like, there could be, every time I see this guy, it's like, uh, like, it's the doctor, like, uh, let me check, uh, what you got, cause you might have some kind of sexually transmitted disease or something, so maybe, like, they're worrying about that. And, you know, that could be because they're worried about you in that way or themselves since they're unsatisfied, bored within the relationship. You know, that's what it's showing. What are you hiding in your connection? We have Ace of Swords, which is truth and clarity. So, having clarity about something. Um, Emperor, which is like the secure, stable, someone who takes charge. But, it's like, you know, it's wearing a mask there. It would be the divine masculine energy. Movement. Is the chariot fast movement to cups is a relationship, um, maybe a commitment or definitely um, a love type relationship with the Empress here, which is the divine feminine energy. So Maybe truth and clarity on a male energy that is going towards a relationship to a divine feminine energy. That is what you are hiding, that you are hiding the fact that you know this about someone or this is you yourself. You know, being in your energy, leaving to go to another relationship. That's what that looks like. What they are hiding, we have 
the Knight of Swords and the Page of Cups. So they're hiding some love feelings and being open. And also, they're kind of wearing a mask right here, kind of covering themselves. And this card is about, like, truth and clarity and standing up for what they believe is right. And also, um, you know, ready kind of for war and ready to fight someone. Let me see what what that was saying again, like, the dueler waiting for the enemy, wanting to do battle, the mind is blurred by the ego, so yeah, kind of like in their ego with that mask on, um, so they're hiding, wanting to fight about... Maybe a love offer. So some of their love feelings. Okay, feelings towards you. Or towards someone else. Because if you have a feeling that your partner, your connection is going off to offer someone else and they're wanting to ego battle you or your feeling of going off with someone else and they're wanting to ego battle you about their feelings which they did have they were unhappy feelings towards and boredom so how do you feel in the relationship right now? We have the magician, which is manifesting. Um, and it looks like, you know, being alone, resting, taking care of self, um, while watching or watching someone do this. So either you're doing this or watching. There's a shadow person back here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's someone watching this person. So either manifesting watching someone who's getting away and taking care of themselves and being alone or manifesting yourself being alone and by yourself, which we did have the Hermit card for your feelings towards the person, which could go either way of like feeling like they're, um, being secluded or you're secluding yourself. How they feel in the relationship right now. We have the sun, the stars, which is to me my destiny fate card, beauty card. And then we have eight of wands, which I think is like the leaving, leaving a situation. So speed, movement, striving towards the goal, transferring, traveling in the mind. So destiny with movement, leaving something, going towards a goal. Have six of pentacles, which is giving and receiving. So equal give and take. Looks like with someone that they're keeping an eye on. wanting to be with and then we have the sun card so happiness joy fulfillment excitement so destiny with leaving 
six of pentacles equal give and take with their joy and happiness so maybe feeling like something's destiny and fate leaving something to go towards something to give and take which is their happiness and joy hmm Destiny of how they feel in their relationship, destiny of fate, leaving something to go towards a goal, to do equal give and take, equal give and take in the relationship, maybe. And happiness. Huh. What do you need from them? We have the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak. Um, feeling locked up. Lots of barriers and walls. No traps. In heartbreak? Hmm. What they need from you is the King of Wands. Which is <clears throat> passion and is a person who exudes energy around them of passion and desire. Um, like having a goal, going after those goals and dreams, and having a plan doing it, being that fiery person. But the kings all in this have their, have a mask on, like they're hiding their true selves, which, I don't know, it doesn't mean that they want you hiding your true self, but... Maybe so. Maybe they're wanting you to hide your true self and be someone who's going after their goal, like a certain goal and passion and desire and creating that. Um, what the relationship is built on, we have Ten of Wands, which everyone here has masks, hiding their true selves, their true feelings. You know, material wealth, burdens, built on burdens, three of cups, see a person under the shoes over here and these two together. Um, so third party relations and three of wands. So the relationship was built on burdens with third party situations. Doesn't seem like true love. Hiding feelings and just kind of having fun and desiring to have fun. What's the higher purpose of this relationship? We have hope, anticipation, bright prospects, wish, prey, stalking, invaded, watch, jealousy, envy, burnt by the sun, ambition, extension, reach. So I would say the higher purpose of this relationship was to learn about people who 
are just out to get what they want and you know prey on people that are in dark energy or like low vibrations not doing too well but also to show you where hope is where bright prospects is and burnt by the sun is putting too much energy into something that wasn't built on you know true love like learning not to just keep giving and giving and giving to something that you know isn't doing an equal balance of give and take to teach you those things teach you about people who are only out for themselves and only you know preying on you for certain aspects of yourself and you know not over giving to get something in return to like it's kind of like buying love but it's not real love you're having to give give so much just to keep that person there and if they if you know otherwise they really wouldn't care so to teach you those things Okay, some advice from the love and relationship affirmators for your relationship. Appreciation. I appreciate the unique ways other people show their love rather than compare their ways with my ways. Then I appreciate myself for maturely putting up with people who just can't seem to show love the normal, obvious, universal, accepted way. Good job, both of us. <laughs> So appreciating, like this can go towards all, all the relationships in your life. You know, knowing that people are not going to be robots, people are not going to be you, people are just going to be themselves and you can't force them to be you. And that's the thing you don't want to do. You don't want to try to control people. You want to just control yourself, be you, and you know, the good things that are for you will be in your life and will go to you in your life. The things that match up well with you will be in your life but also appreciate people for being them for the things that they are good at and what who they are because you know seeing them for truth and not in fantasy sensuality embracing sensuality doesn't necessarily mean you're a middle-aged swinger it simply means you're savoring one of the coolest aspects of being alive sensory input it's time to get decadent and reward yourself with gifts of the senses. You could drop a wad of cash on champagne and chocolates. Or you could tune in and enjoy the incredible gifts around you. The taste of an orange. The sound of a forest. The texture of corroy. I don't know your life. The point is, it's time to savor whatever your senses can grab a hold of. Even if that means you're being sensual. Gross. <laughs> it's not gross, actually. It's actually amazing because you're calming down slowing down enough to just simply enjoy simple things being appreciative of things that are in your life right now kitty cat just feeling the kitty cat feeling your emotions of certain things the sun and its rays of energy that it gives to you and light and just little things that bring you joy appreciate you know just all the little things around you that bring you joy and stop looking at things that you don't have or what other people got and because they got whatever they got how they got it and you didn't do that so I mean work on what you got and what you want to get to and enjoy where you're at right now it's enjoying the journey if we were already there the journey would be done and over so you want to enjoy the time that you have right now every day because that's what makes life great. That makes us living. There might not be a tomorrow. Okay, Venus and Libra. 
This was your love relationships reading. And I hope it gave you some kind of clarity and that it resonated. If it didn't resonate, that's okay. Um, cause there is many of us hit the like button and also subscribe if you would like more videos like these to see them and make your day amazing. Bye.